I always feel that you should succeed and fail with your own. And I think it is an absolute disgrace that the NFF treated um, Stephen Keshi, Nigeria's best ever manager and coach, so badly. This was a African Nations Cup winning captain and a guy who won the Nations Cup as a coach. So yes, yeah, so I think if you guys, you know, have wanted me to sort of give a lowdown as to um, Nigeria and um, what is what has what has gone wrong and so forth, and give much more of a tactical breakdown of, of, of where they have gone wrong. And my thing is, this is that I'm at two minds with this. That's of course things are tactically wrong, but I think it's even beyond tactics. And I think um, a guy on Twitter he he links me to a vid of Bonfred Joe, who was the assistant in the 94 World Cup and was also the coach for the Olympics in 96 that night, Nigeria won. And he talked about, he talked about um, having the right technical players. And then when he was really pressed, this was on channels TTV, so you can watch it on their channel's YouTube page. And when he was pressed as to what he thinks about this this team, and this was before the World Cup even started, he was like, you could just tell that he, that, that he said, no, this team is, is, not, is not playing right. This team is not playing right. And my thing about this is that Let's just talk about tactics mainly. Obi Mikel started as a number ten, and that is what he should have been. If Obi Mikel moved to Man United, he would have been developed into a number ten, and because of Ferguson's excellent coaching, he would have been an excellent footballing norm number ten. But because Obi Mikel wanted to be in London and stay in London, and he didn't want to go to Manchester. Um, he opted to go to the Chelsea, where he was used as a sideways DM defensive mid midfield fielder. So, when people talk about oh, uh, look at how much Obi Mikel has won and everything, Obi Mikel was was not a great reason as to why Chelsea won all those titles. He simply wasn't. So when Obi Mikel has to now play as a creative midfielder as a number ten, he can't do it because you just do not have the experience to, to do it, and you've not had the proper coaching or tutelage to take it to the next level, which you would have gotten at United. Um, Igalo is a is a is a brick. He's 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 a brick. He was he's pretty much useless. What has Igalo done? Okay, he he played pretty well for you for Watford. What what has has it done? So for so Igalo as a striker simply doesn't work. Now Nigeria need much more speed and quickness up up front because I, and this is what I always said: either you have Igalo and Iannaccio, so Igalo can hold the ball up for Iannaccio to run off off of, or you have Iannaccio as numbers as as a, as a main main striker. Igalo by himself simply doesn't work. Um, but I think, and you have Iwobi as well. I think you know either you play Iwobi wide right or you play him further up. The key thing is that it will be it has to be used as a man who is trying to thread balls through either to 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 to, to Moses or to um the other guy on the to to to, to, to someone else on the left. Maybe I, I mean it's like there's I mean there's there there's just no no one plays in there. But I think that's the the, the main thing. You know, it will be needs to be be played for for the rope. It will be probably needs to be used as a number ten because he's a better, much more precise passer of the ball. Um. Me, Mikel has to just be a holding midfielder. Mikel played the role that you've played most, which is the a, a DM and the midfielder and a ball winner. You're not a you're not a creative player because that's not what you 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 have played. And indeed, he has to be the, the main man that mops up things and keeps them the midfield going. Um, but I, and I think you know, defensively, you know, um, I told you, I mean, these are the, the days of Eguavon and Okechuko who were titans in 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 defense because. Thing with um, Ekong and Balogu, you may be you may do well against other African nations, but this is a higher level of, of, of opposition, and you can see how they have struggled because both of those goals were defensive mis mistakes, bad, bad, bad defensive mistakes. Because they they could have been avoided because it wasn't like if they were like amazing goals by Croatia, it was poor defensive mistakes by Ni Ni Nigeria. So that's the tactics to one side. But the reason why I say that there's no point to talk about, about tactics is that this is beyond the tactics. The team that has been picked is wrong. The team that has been picked is wrong. You know, because there is only so much you can, I can do with those players there. And what I my, my, my frustration is, if Nigeria didn't really perform in 94 or 98 or so forth, then I'd be fully supporting them and say, well, be, be better luck next time. Let's just get behind the team. But once you've seen that level that we saw in 94 and 98, and even more so, 
when you just go to any street, you just go to any street and just look at how Nigerians play. That's when they say, no, Nigerians know how to play this four ball. And there has to be a reason why they have won the under-17 World Cup so many times. And people's criticism is that, oh yeah, they use overage players. Fair enough. Now, if those players were over overage, surely FIFA, with all of their signs, would be able to find them out. So, unless you can give me scientific proof that they're overage, they aren't over overage. So, that argument just doesn't mean anything. So, you say, oh no, they're overage, look at what they, they, they look like. People, they use scientific bone experiments to make sure that everybody is of age. And if they find out that the Nigerians are of age, of they're of age. So, sorry, science, science is RXs and knows not to your stupid op opinion. So, when you look at the fact that Nigeria have won the most under-17 World Cups, the talent is there, the natural talent is there. So why is it in a country of 200 million people, I'm seeing that's, that's trash. Igo, Igalo is trash. He's trash. He, he, he shouldn't be Nigerian's main striker. Iannaccio should be starting. He should be the main man. I told you, Igalo, you're either playing with Iannaccio or you're, or you're holding the bench. Or you're not even in the squad. You're not even in the squad. What happened to Oshima? What happened to Nwa Kagali? What about to all these guys? And... This is the, the key thing, and I, and I think it's because of what bon, 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 Fred Joe said. And it's about who is the right coach. I always feel that you should succeed and fail with your own. And I think it is an absolute disgrace that the NFF treated um, Stephen Keshi, Nigeria's best ever manager and, and coach, so badly. This was a African Nations Cup winning captain and a guy who won the Nations Cup as a coach. And who with it with it 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 team really played against France? They really gave France a, a game where far superior to us man for man. Um, so it's something that you 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 supposed to do or you fail with your own, or you get a Dutch coach or a South American coach, because the Dutch and the South Americans understand Nigerian f football because our, our philosophies are very similar. The Dutch are very technical. Nigerians are very technical. Hence why Bonifacio Joe was saying. I see. Obviously, you got the speed and the power, but I see the technical, the, the, the technicalities here. That's me as a Dutchman. I understand and I can coach and I can help harness. Um, same thing with with with, with Brazil. You can help harness that that technique. Genoa is German. The German philosophy way of playing is at complete odds with the Nigerian force of playing. So when you get Nigerians trying to play the, the German way of playing, they will look like clowns because Nigerians don't play German for, for, for football. Germans play German for football. Nigerians have their own unorthodox technical way of playing that is that that is attacking. It is attack-minded. So when you not be Genoa, who's not trying to make the team much more balanced and much more Euro-European, they look like, like trash because you, you Germany know how to play play, play that way because that is, that is in their DNA. It is not in Nigerians' DNA to be a balanced team. It is in Nigerians' DNA to be an attacking offensive team. That is how they, they play. So um, there is, this team can't do anything. This team, they, they, they've already been, be, be, been poisoned. They've already, be, be, they've already be, been poisoned. So you have to go back to the drawing board, get the right coach, the right manager, either a Nigerian, a Dutch, or a South American who plays an attacking way, and you, ha and you build a team with players who play the Nigerian way. Thank you for watching this video. Think about pledging and become a half of football hot patron. Pledge an amount each month and gain access to exclusive videos from your boy, the football hot, for more analysis. Peace.